Hold on, brothers. I'm gonna make this quick video for um I'm making this quick video for for three brothers in particular, but I'm a you know just for everybody, all my brothers out there, y'all can have y'all edification. This is dealing with a post that I did not too long ago about uh, grooming yourself. All right, because you have some brothers that don't know the difference between grooming yourself and literally cutting your whole beard off. Okay, now obviously I don't grow a beard. Okay, the only thing I grow is this, and this is getting a little longer, and you know that's all I got right now. So hopefully, you know the Most High bless me, and I get I get something that connects, you know. But right now, this is all I got, you know. So, but some brothers, you know, they they won't understand it on how are they supposed to maintain their beards, and it's a legit question. It's a legit question, you know. Let me tell you, brothers, y'all don't have to be walking out here looking all beastly, okay? You don't have to do that. You understand? You can have a long beard, all right? You can have a long beard and have it nice and neat. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to be walking out here all just wild, looking like a, a caveman, okay? The scriptures don't say that, all right? I don't know if brothers think that that's something to do with their masculinity. You know, brothers feel like, oh, the wilder my beard is, the more manly I am. You know, um, that's an opinion. It's not scriptural, <laughs> you understand? You don't have to have a beard that's going down to your nipple, okay? You don't have to have a beard that's going down to your, to your, to your belly button, all right? That that's, doesn't make you any more of a man than a brother that has a small beard like myself, all right? So I know some brothers think, oh, you know, I got to have this big old long beard and walking like this and all that to, to be manly in Israel. That, that doesn't make you a man, you know? If anybody knows David... You know, David was a young man, and David looked, you know, young. You understand? He didn't look all beastly and brut brutish, but David was a warrior, <laughs> and David would smite you down, you know? So it doesn't matter how big, you know, when you look at our forefather Jacob, it says Jacob was a smooth man. Okay, the scripture says he was a smooth man. It didn't say he had a whole bunch of hair and all of that, so, you know, um, you don't have to have a super long, just long beard, brothers. All right. For all my Hebrew brothers, if you out there, you don't have to be walking around looking all crazy. And that's what we're going to do. We definitely got to keep the law. But brothers, man, make sure your stuff is neat. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I want to read uh, Leviticus 19 and 27 for brothers. OK, for all my brothers out there, this is dedicated to the brothers. Leviticus 19 and 27. All right. We already know this, but I'm going to just read it because I don't want none of you brothers out there thinking that I am telling you to cut your beard. Because as, as soon as you say anything about making yourself presentable, brothers automatically want to assume, oh, I'm never going to cut my beard. And bro, I didn't say cut your beard, but you can groom yourself, okay? Um, so let's read Leviticus 19 and 27. It says, Ye shall not round the corners of your head, neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. So we understand that we don't want to disfigure our beard, you know? So you know how brothers be walking around and they got the pencil, you understand? They they got they, they, they beard line might come out here, but they cut their beard line all the way to here and they want the little pencil chin strap. No, okay? You're disfiguring your beard. You're not supposed to do that, all right? Um, you have some brothers that they like rocking the goatee. They like, man, I, 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 I shoot back in the world. I used to rock the goatee. So they cut their whole beard off and they rock the goatee. No, you're disfiguring and you're marring your beard. You got some brothers that like to get the hairline pushed back. You know, I don't know what brother like to get the hairline pushed back, but if you got a brother out there that like to get the hairline pushed back, no, I you cannot get your hairline pushed back. You're disfiguring and you're going against your original line. Okay. And it's uh, actually a good thing today because I did get my hair lined up recently. So I'll be able to show brothers what I mean by that after I get the scriptures. You have some brothers that's balding, you know. You might have a brother that, that's balding, you know what I'm saying? Got the LeBron going on. So what brothers that's balding like to do, they like to bald their whole head. Unfortunately, brothers, if you balding, you cannot cut that. <laughs> you got to just let your hair bald. <laughs> okay, brothers, I'm sorry to tell you this, but if you are balding, 
unfortunately, just rock it. You got to rock it. You can't just cut the whole thing off and walk around with just the bald head. You got to rock your balding, unfortunately. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, I, you know, I just got to, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you know, hopefully I don't bald, but you know, brothers out there, you, you've got, maybe you might be forehead balding or you might be middle head balding. Yeah, that's tough. That's a tough one. <laughs> that's tough. But the scriptures tell you, you know, you can't go against your original line. All right. So let's get, a, that's, that's a bad one, man. I hope I never go bald, man. Uh, let's go to Leviticus 21 and five. But if you brothers going bald, man, y'all rock that, you know, y'all rock it. But let's uh, read Leviticus 21. And uh, verse five, it says, they shall not make baldness upon their head. So you cannot make baldness upon your head, brothers. So like I gave the example earlier, if you go on bald then you just got to rock that that forehead bald or that back, wherever it's going bald and you just got to rock. You can't make the whole head bald. Try to rock the Michael Jordan or whatever. You can't do that. You know, you got to leave the hair on your head. All right. Or, you know, disfiguring any of your line, you know, pushing your hairline back and all of that. You know, you can't do that. All right, or cutting or marring your original beard. Like I said, I don't have a full beard, but if I did, if my beard was growing to here, I got to leave that. If this grows long enough to connect with this, I got to leave that alone. I can't, I can't cut it. I can't disfigure this, you know, but mine is not connected yet. You understand? You see that? It's trying to do a little something, something. I'm trying to work with something, something there, but it's not connecting yet. All right, and you see this right here, you know, it's even further up it's not connecting yet for some reason i don't know why but this side of my face facial features grow longer than this side so this side is naturally shorter and not long from the from the chin hair to the sideburns but this side you know so if this side connects before this side then i'm gonna just be walking around with one side connected and <laughs> one side not connected and hey i hope it don't happen that way i hope this side can hurry up maybe i'm gonna get some some beard activator or something. Hopefully this side hurry up and hopefully this side don't don't connect before this side do. So I don't be walking around here with just one half beard. But if I do, then hey, I got I, that that's how the most I want, want my, my my thing to grow. Now, I can't I can't fight against that. You understand? So so you definitely can't do that, all right? Um it says uh neither shall th uh they shave off the corner of their beard. Okay, so we know we know those scriptures, all right? So I just wanted to solidify that before I go into just two more scriptures that I have because I'm not going to be before you too long, but I know brothers was like they want examples. Man, I, I've been walking around here looking like a gorilla, man. I ain't, I ain't been lining up or nothing. You brothers can line up, okay? It's nothing wrong with that. So let's get 2 Samuel 19, 24. There's only two examples. There's only two examples that we have in the scriptures where brothers maintain their appearance, Okay. Um, and brothers, we got to represent for Israel, man. We can't be walking around here looking all crazy, all right? Brothers maintain. Brothers be having one side hair down, one side hair up, not combing. And come on, man. Let's let's get that together, all right? Uh, brother said, IUIC told me I couldn't touch it. Not only that, but ain't that only to the Levites and the priests? Not at all, all right? We got we to, gotta, the whole nation of Israel has to keep the the beard, Okay, and I'm gonna get a precept that will explain that for you. Okay, uh, one second, let me get that. Back. I'm back. Second Samuel 10 and 4. Let me answer this brother's question real quick. Second Samuel 10, Second Samuel 10 and 4, real quick. I'm gonna detour a little bit because no, that I know that's a doctrine out there too. Oh, only the Leviticus, oh, Levitical priesthood had to keep that. Second Samuel 10. And verse four. Okay. So y'all remember, Akim, you know, just rock your beard. You know, don't be, don't be, don't be bashful. Don't be sad that your beard kind of grows funny. Okay. Don't be sad if your beard grows a little funny. Rock it. Because some brothers, you know, they like, oh, no, that's only for the Levites. No, brothers, every man in Israel got to keep their beard. Let's read this history. Okay. Second Samuel chapter 10. And let's read verse. I'm going to start at verse three. It says, then the prince of the children of Ammon said unto Hanan, their Lord, thinkest thou that David does honor thy father, that he hath sent um, comforters unto thee? Has not David rather sent his servants unto thee to, sh to search the city and to spy it out and to overthrow it? Wherefore, Hanan took David's servants and shaved off the half 
of their beards and cut off their garments in the middle. Okay, so this is David's servants. All right, so it says that they cut off their beards and they cut off their garments down to the middle. So it made them look like homosexuals. Okay, made it look made them look like they was homosexual. So they cut half of the beard off and then cut their garments to the buttocks. Now, the reason why I'm bringing that scripture out is because it just lets you know that all of the men of Israel, all of the men of Israel had their beards. Because then what happened? All right. It says, uh, verse five, I'm gonna read verse five. It says, when they told it unto David, he sent to meet them because the men were greatly ashamed. So the men were ashamed. So this, this law of your beard growing is not only for the Levitical priesthood. This is for all the men of Israel. These men were ashamed. And what did David say? Cause if it wasn't, if it was only for the Levitical priesthood, David would have been like, oh, don't trip. Ain't nobody going to look at y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all good. Come in within the city. But what did David tell them to do? When they had told it unto David, he sent to meet them because the men were greatly ashamed. And the king said, tarry at Jericho until your beards be grown and then return. So David was like, hey, man, y'all stay out the city. Y'all stay out the city until y'all beards grow back. All right. Y'all, y'all got it. Y'all got a man. Y'all, y'all looking tough right now. So this law is for all the men of Israel. OK, now I, I'm going to answer you answer your other question because you said. They said that you couldn't touch it or, or even maintain it. That is a lie. Okay, let's get 2 Samuel 19. Okay. 2 Samuel 19. And... So said, what about Deuteronomy 14 and 1? I'm, I'm going to check that scripture out. As soon as I... Uh, uh, as soon as I get done with this verse, I'm, I'm, I'm going to check that out. See what that's talking about. So let's read 2 Samuel 19 and 24, right? So it says, uh, it says, and y'all forgive me for pronouncing this name, all right? And I'm going to answer y'all questions too real quick in a, in a minute after I get this, right? Because I see some brothers asking how low can it be? Um, I, I talked about that earlier, uh, uh, James, Yisrael, you, wanna, you don't want to cut it to where it's bald. You want to definitely leave, leave hair on your head. So if you cutting it to where it's borderline, like oh, it's reaching that fine line to bald, nah. But you can cut it low. You can get you know, get you a nice little low fade as long as it's not bald. You know how brothers like to get that bald fade? Don't get that bald fade. You can't. If brothers used to like to rock, rock the bald fade, unfortunately, in the truth, you can't rock that bald fade no more because that bald fade for brothers that know about haircuts, that bald fade is when they. They bald you on the sides and give you that low, little, at the top, it'd be low, and then it'd be bald in the back. You know, the little boosie. The little boosie. He be getting the bald fade. You can't have the little boosies no more, all right? Because that's 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 cutting it too low. You you literally disfiguring it, and you cutting it low. So you can't rock that. For brothers that used to get them tapers, I know for me, I used to get the tapers. You know what I'm saying? I used to love, me, I, I was the king of the taper. I used to have mine tapered up. Y'all right, know the brothers know about the taper where you get this low right here and get the get the sideburns a little thin. I used to do that. I used to taper it down. You know, have me looking like, man, fresh, but can't do that no more. You know, I can't taper myself no more to that to that magnitude. Now, I still tell them, see, my barber been cutting my hair for a minute. So I still tell them to taper it, but I just tell them, don't, don't, don't tape, ball taper it. Just take it a little lower to where it's a little lower than the top. It's a little darker than the top, but you probably can't even, you probably can't even tell. But I tell them, just take a little, and then for the sideburns, don't cut, don't, don't mar the sideburns, even though I don't have a beard, don't mar the sideburns, just keep the sideburns the same length. Okay? You just, boom. They just, he just, so all my, all my, all my barber does is just take my line and just go, he just traces it. He don't mar it. He don't put it back. He don't do none of that. I used to get the Black Caesar too, you know, the Black Caesar where it had your line extra crisp, you know what I'm saying? Now, just for my safety and just being on the safe side, I don't get the Black Caesar no more, you know? I just tell them, hey, just just line it up, that's it, just line it up, just follow my original pattern of my line, and for the back, I do too, okay? So now, let's actually read that, all right, and with the Clippers... Two on guard. Exactly. You want to definitely have that two guard. That two guard will keep you safe. You know, so when they cutting, it ain't getting too low. Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. Uh, brother says, so what was the elders talking about 
when they told Paul to go with the other men that had the vow. And they told Paul and the others dudes to shave their heads to show. Now, this was a particular law dealing with the Nazarite. Okay. So if you go into that law, you can find that law in the book of Numbers. That law did tell you you had to purify yourself. Okay, and that was that was something that was specifically done if you took the Nazarite vow. And that was what the most high commanded them to do. You know, so because what you guys gotta understand is that your hair is affected by everything that you do, what you eat, what you drink, if you smoke, anything, your hair follicles are uh are altered with anything that you take and consume in your body. That's why if you smoke or if you drink, they can take a hair follicle and they can tell if you've been smoking or drinking. So as a sign of purification, they had to cut all that off just to start over and had ourselves as pure. So that's what it was. Okay. That's what it was, but it wasn't telling you to rock it as a hairstyle. All right. That wasn't what that was. That was specifically for that particular law. Okay. Just to be purified. Some things you see that within the scriptures, like sometimes, like for instance, when the Levites, they, they actually, um, gave offering and they, they cooked on the Sabbath. How did they cook? They had the show bread. So on the Sabbath, the the uh, the, uh, the uh, Levitical priesthood would be cooking the show bread on the Sabbath because it had to be continually cooked, right? So you see certain instances in the scriptures where it was a it was a I guess you was well if you want to say it was kind of like a allowed because it was what the Most High wanted it to wanted to be done. So you see certain things like that being done in the scriptures. Okay, and the Levitical priest, I mean, the uh, law, the vow of the Nazarite, that's one of them where they had to purify themselves, cut their hair for that first time just to purify themselves. All right. So now I'm going to read that. Uh, now, this is what I will say. I'm not saying you can cook on the Sabbath. And this is why brothers have to be careful when you, you deal with that 12 tribe chart. Because I see brothers at Khan because I should be cook on the Sabbath. No. This is not cooking just to cook on the Sabbath for you to eat. Not at all. This was in the temple that the Levitical priesthood had to do as an ordinance in the temple. You understand? In the tabernacle. All right. This was not to be cooking and all of that. This was uh, like an offering for the most high. So when, when brothers be teaching that Levit that 12 tribe chart and they say, oh, well, I'm a Levite. And not having their records or not proving that they're a Levite. They just saying they're a Levite and they don't even know if they're a Levite or not. You understand? Now they cooking on the Sabbath and then we don't even have a tabernacle or any, any of that. So you ain't supposed to be none of that is supposed to be being done because we don't have a tabernacle. We don't have none of that to be cooking the shoe bread. So when you cooking the shoe bread and all of that on the Sabbath, you know what I'm saying? It's different. But if you're just saying, oh, we can cook on the Sabbath, brothers got to be mindful of that. That's not how it work. You know, so that's why brothers got to be careful when brothers saying they of these tribes. I'm a little vitical. There's some. I don't, that's why we don't teach the 12 tribe chart because it can venture off into certain things that you're not supposed to be doing. If you ain't a Levite and you can't show it through your father, but that's a whole nother topic. That's a whole nother topic uh, that I actually, I'll, if, if brothers, I just went live on my YouTube channel and I was talking about the uh, the 12 tribe chart. But no, not at all. You cannot cook on the Sabbath. I, that was only done by the Levitical priesthood in the tabernacle. Even if you do say you a Levite, if you ain't got no tabernacle, no altar, you ain't supposed to be doing that. Because <laughs> the altar, the oblations is ceasing right now. Because we don't have an altar to sacrifice right now. So the oblations right now, you got to read that Daniel 9. Right now, in this present time, the oblations have ceased. Until the Most High comes back and there will be certain offerings given in the kingdom. Right? And by the heathens. Alright? So I hope that answers your question. You know, brother's not supposed to be cooking on the Sabbath. Now... Let me just read this quick scripture in Psalms 19 real quick and 24, right? So it says, and forgive me if I pronounce this name wrong, and Mashiba Sheth, right? The son of Saul came down to meet the king and had neither dressed his feet nor trimmed his beard nor washed his clothes from the day the king departed until the day he came again in peace. So this brother did not trim his beard. Trim. Now notice it didn't say marred. Notice it said trim. Trimming your beard is not against the commandments of the most high God. Making your beard neat with its original line pattern is not against the law of the most high God. You can definitely do that. Okay. You don't have to, it didn't say, notice it didn't say more, it said trim. 
So if a brother get a little lineup, that's cool. Okay? You can get a little lineup. You can do, you see what I did? I trimmed my beard. I didn't mess with, this is my original line. You see how thick my sideburns are? I ain't touched that. I just had him go along my original line. And he trimmed it up real quick, made it look a little neater. That's it. But other than that, guess what? I didn't even touch nothing down here. You know, because it ain't really nothing to really be touched, <laughs> really. <laughs> so, but this is the example. You just don't go against the grain of your original line. But you can trim yourself. Now, brothers, for me, I don't have a thick beard. But if brothers got a thick, big beard, you don't have to have your beard all long and all down here. You don't have to do that. You can keep it nice and short just as long as you're not marring it and balding it. That is the whole thing. Do not bald it. Do not disfigure your original line. And if brothers ain't dis disfiguring their original line, then you good. You don't have to have a long beard down. Nah, you could just, some, some just rock it, rock it regular. You know, they don't want it long. They got it a little cut down a little bit. You know, they got that two guard on. They got it cut down and they got it neat and they cool. But you want to be careful if you start, like, if you, like, you see, if you got a neck beard, because I know some brothers got that neck beard. You got to uh, you gotta leave that neck beard alone, too. Just like you got to leave that forehead bald alone and just like you got to leave that middle bald alone. You got to leave that neck beard alone, too. So, brothers, whoever you out there, you got that little neck beard, be, hey, you got to leave it alone. <laughs> you know, you got to leave it alone. You know, you can't cut it up and make it short and little. Nah, you got to leave that neck beard alone, too. You understand? So, but you see here, he trimmed his beard. Okay? He trimmed his beard. He cleaned himself up and... Other uh, Another thing I want to say is brother got to understand what grooming is. See, when you groom yourself, you brush your teeth. Grooming is just not trimming your beard. You know, I, brothers be looking sloppy. I don't know why brothers get in the truth and just start looking all types of sloppy. Brothers, that don't make you a man when you looking all crazy. Iron your shirt. Iron your shirt. Hey, brothers be walking outside, shirt be wrinkled, crinkled. Wash your clothes. Brothers be wearing the same shirt over and over. Come on, man. Like, what are y'all doing? You know, if y'all was if y'all was really Levites, whoever think they Levites out there and do this, the most high would have destroyed you because the Levites wasn't even allowed to sweat. So y'all be walking around here with the, you know, uh, uh, wrinkled clothes on, soup and goop, you know, on your shirt and all of that. Soup spilled and stains and all of that. Walking around. Garments be looking terrible. Just, just look like you just cut a rag and sewed a rag and threw it over your head. Just brother be walking around, shirt be collar be low like this, and you know what I'm saying? Faded garment, just on, walking around. Brothers probably got the same. Look, brothers, if you only got one garment, man, don't wear that damn garment to the ground. Get that garment a break sometimes. Y'all brothers got to get a garment a break sometimes. I'll be saying, brothers, they, they got one garment, and they I know y'all want to take pride that y'all Hebrews, but damn, you know, you can't wear the garment till the garment start falling off you. You got to change the garment. Okay, wash it and then put it back on. Brother, sleep with the garment, wake up with the garment, go to the store with the garment, get in the car with the garment, play basketball in the garment, take, go, go to bed in the garment, wake up in the garment. Take the garment off and give the garment a break. You understand? Brothers, if you got one friend shirt, you don't wear that shirt till it fall off. Man, get you more friend shirts. Find out a way. Okay, yeah, I, bro, I was there too. Where you only had like three shirts with fringes, you're going to have to go wash them more frequently. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But brothers, you ain't got to be looking crazy. Brothers just be hair about the literally about the knot up. You know, brothers ain't combed their hair in so long, it's literally about the knot. You know, I'm like, damn, comb your hair, bro. Yeah, we know that Christ had hair like wool, but that don't mean that your shit got to be about the knot. You understand? Because I'm pretty sure Yahweh Shah hair looked like wool, but it wasn't about the knot. You understand? It was just the texture of wool. But everybody got woolly hair. Keep your woolly hair neat. You understand? So that's what I mean when I say grooming, brothers. Okay? That's what I mean. You don't have to be walking around here looking like who did it. Okay? We ain't got to do that. Now, let me get one more scripture. Because you got some brothers out here that be talking about, man, you can't cut your hair. It's against the law to cut your hair. All right. Yeah, it's against the law. You can't cut your hair. You can't cut your hair. Your hair is supposed to grow. Brothers be getting, oh, you can't cut your hair. Your hair is supposed to grow. Oh, look at you. You cutting your hair. Because another thing, too, brothers be underlining hating, too. Brothers be underlining hating, too. Since brothers, brothers, 
got some insecurities about their hair or whatever. They want everybody to look like them. You know? Don't do that, brothers. If a brother was flying the world, he can get in the truth and be flying the truth. Me, I would like to think that I like to keep my parents. My wife be getting on me all the time. She, I, I can, she, even I can look a little better. But, you know, come on, brothers. We got to hold ourselves to a good standard. Uh, second, second Samuel 14 and um, 26. All right, this is Absalom. And if anybody know about Absalom, we know that he was the son of, of David. All right. And he had long hair. It says, and when he, um, and when he, let's read verse 25 for context. But in all Israel, there was none to be so much praised as Absalom for his beauty. From the sole of his foot, even to the crown of his head, there was no blemish in him. So even with Absalom, okay, even with Absalom, it says he was beautiful from the crown of his head to the sole of his foot. I mean, Absalom wasn't walking around looking raggedy. Absalom had his hair done. If, if Absalom had long hair, brothers, if y'all got long hair, keep your shit braided. Keep your shit braided. Keep your shit combed. Keep your shit oiled. Keep your shit together. You ain't got to be walking around here. Literally, brothers, wake up and, and go to sleep and wake up and get out of there. Nah, wash your hair. Wash it. Condition your hair. Do all of that. Absalom looked good from, the, from his hair all the way down to his, to his feet. Okay, his feet, he, he was fly. That means even to his feet, his clothes was fly. He was good. He wasn't walking around just looking like whatever. Okay, so with that being said, it says he was beautiful. And there was no blemish in him, verse 26. And when he pulled his head, for it was at every year's end that he pulled it, because the hair was heavy on him. Therefore, he pulled it. He weighed the hair of his head. At 200 shekels after the king's waist. So that was a lot of hair. But he cut his hair sometimes. Occasionally he had to cut it. It was so long. He's like, man, I got to cut this down. It is not a sin for you to cut your hair. Okay? It's not a sin. Just make sure that you do not bald it. That is the point. Do not make baldness come upon your head. All right? So, brothers, I love y'all. And absolutely, Tizits is not in the scriptures. You want to make sure it's on the four corners of your garment, okay? The four corners. Now, we know that there's no corners on the garment, right? Because there's no corners. It's like a circle, so there's no corners. So what is it saying? It's saying basically compassing the whole garment, okay? You want to make sure you got your fringes and your ribbon of blue around the whole garment, okay? So I know some brothers do wear it, but, you know, it says that you got to you got to have it on the four corners and there's no corners. Right. If you take a, a, a circle or whatever, just for just to, for a real quick explanation, because that's a whole nother video in itself. OK, you got to It's the four corners. There's now there's no corners, but you got to make sure it's around the whole conference of the, of, the, of the garment. So if you've got some tisset style fringes. Make sure it's on the whole, around the whole garment, okay? There's tons of archaeology that you can see with our people, with the Israelites, with their garments and how the fringes looked, okay? All you got to do is look up fringes, archaeology fringes, right? And it, it'll come up and it'll show you what it is. What the fake Jews wear, that's not scriptural. That's that's what they do in a uh, Babylonian Tal Talmud, okay? So, uh, Shem, go back once I upload this video you could go back and watch it from the beginning i explained all of that i explained what shave off the corners meant i explained all that so you could go back and check it out and i broke it all down i even used my head as an example okay you don't want to make baldness all right around your head but you can definitely trim it so brother go back and watch that video all right because i'm not trying to be before y'all too long i just want to give y'all a quick breakdown all right so, uh, yeah, I, we could definitely talk about it, man. You got, I'm going to give you my number. I know you inboxed me earlier. Uh, Binya, ben I know you, you uh, hit me earlier, so we could definitely talk about it, okay? Yeah, watch the video from the beginning, and you'll get a clear understanding of what I mean by trimming yourself or grooming yourself. All right, brothers? Love y'all. Y'all be good.
Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Brakatham, Kwam Yasharala. Make sure y'all self look good, brothers. Love y'all.